In this hands-on exercise, we're going to be looking at the Revolve features that we've been talking about in previous exercises. This will let us do some hands-on practice and get some real-world experience creating some real parts. To do this exercise, open up the Revolve feature.ipt drawing. So let's get started. If you zoom out, you'll notice there's just a blank line here. So what we need to do is actually edit this sketch. So I double-clicked on sketch one. This is a center line that I've already created for us to start from. Next, we need to come in here and create a rectangle. Any size rectangle will do. And then we're going to hit dimension. And we're going to dimension from this line to the center line. And then we're going to dimension from the outside to the center line. And you may say, wait a minute, what just happened there? What happened was, as soon as I click on that center line to do a measurement, Inventor understands that the center line is supposed to be the center of something. It's going to let us use the overall diameter of this part to give it a dimension. So if I'm making a sprocket, let's say, I know that this sprocket needs to have an overall dimension of 50 millimeters. The inside shaft is going to be 10 millimeters. So it allows me to create this. So the last dimension I'm going to give it be 5 millimeters thick. Now the one thing that I've preached about and I want to get everybody in the habit of doing is fully constraining our sketch. Right now you can notice I can move this sketch around up and down because it's not constrained. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit project geometry, project the center point, and then I'm going to use the horizontal constraint. So I'm going to click on horizontal, click on that center point, I'm going to click on the bottom corner of our rectangle there. Everything turns black, we're good to go. Just like your checkbook. When it's black, it's good. When it's red, it's bad. In this case, when it's green, it's bad. But that's just kind of a little visual cue to tell you that it's not fully constrained. So once we do that, we can hit OK and then finish. From here, we're to activate the revolve command. Once again, it's seen that we have a closed profile. It's seen that we have a center line and it automatically does everything for us. Pretty straightforward. We're going to use all the default here because we just want to create a disk. Hit the check mark for OK. Since we already have the origin planes expanded, we're going to come in here. Let's pick on, say, the XZ plane here. We're going to right click and say New Sketch. Hit F7 to slice. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to say Project Cut Edges. So you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. We're going to do a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this rectangle should be equal to this rectangle. We're also going to be collinear. So that whatever height I give to one, and whatever width I give to it, it's automatically going to apply it to the other one. So let's make it five millimeters wide, say 7.5 millimeters high. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Say finish. So you go back to the revolve command again. Click it. The axis, you notice there's no axis active, so it couldn't figure out what it was wanting to do. I come over here and I select the Z axis because in that initial sketch, we constrained our object to that center point. So everything should be revolved around this Z axis. So if I hit Z, I'm going to change this to angle and 90 degrees should do us here. Let's take it down, make it a little bit smaller. We decided that this widget's handles or whatever these are going to be, our sprocket here, only needs to be, say, 60 degrees. As soon as you do that, you notice we get a preview. We look like we're good to go. Hit OK. Now we've added mass to this part and given it a little bit of a character. Next, I'm going to go up to the other plane that we didn't use the first time, say the YZ plane here. Say New Sketch. I'm going to hit F7 or right click, say Slice Graphics. Once again, we're going to go to Project Cut Edges. I'm going to zoom in. This time I'm going to do the rectangle on the inside. I'm going to say Equal. This one's equal to this one. And this one's equal to this one. A little bit different than we did the other one, but they give you the exact same results. 
So let's make this two millimeters tall and we'll make it, I don't know, 10 millimeters wide. Both rectangles are now exactly the same size because we used the equal command. It wouldn't be wrong if you did collinear. We could have done symmetrical. We could have projected in the z-axis over here and used the symmetrical command. There's several ways you can do that. Feel free to play with it. Hit OK. We're going to hit Revolve. Now this one's a little bit trickier because it's inside the object. But you'll notice whenever you hover over the object, It'll let you select that sketch because it understands, hey, that's an unconsumed sketch. I want to use it. I'm going to use the Z axis again. I'm going to do angle. And we're going to flip our angle the other direction. And we're going to change it to cut. Hit OK. So you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And you should be good to go to save and close. I will include the finished one in the file as revolve feature-2 so you can see how I did it.